Hi guys and welcome along. Right then, today I've got a really nice beer from Nergner. It's the Dark Horizon 5th edition beer. Um, I was sent this by Nergner themselves from Norway. It comes in a brilliant little metal tube. To the old beer inside. They also sent a placemat with a little logo engraved in the bottom as well and this really really nice glass okay so Nergner Dark Horizon 5th edition is 100 IBUs and it comes in at 16% now it was bottled on the 3rd of the 3rd 2015 so today is actually the 3rd of the 3rd 2017 so it's two years old today which I think is brilliant so Let's get the old beer out, bottle opener. Nice Nergner logo bottle, bottle cap. Whoa, that smells strong. So like I say, so it's going at 100 IBUs, 16%. Wow, that's a lot more carbonated than I thought it was going to be. So, obviously, no head because it's um, it's a really strong beer, so you're always going to struggle to get a head out of that anyway. Right then, let's go with it on the nose. On the nose, it's like Christmas pudding. A lot of dark fruits, dark roasted, raisins, plums, but also a lot of whiskey as well. Like I say, the whiskey really, really comes through on it. Right then, let's go in the taste. Whoa. <clears throat> That's like alcoholic treacle. <laughs> so get yourself some black treacle, pour a load of spirit in it. I, mean, I don't know if you can see if it's going to focus enough, but the lace on the glass, you can just see it. I don't know if you can make it out, but it just like sticks to the side of the glass and runs down like treacle. It's like really, really thick. Okay, so you've got some really nice dark toasted malts to it. And again, like the smell, you've got a lot of burnt raisins and plums. But the, the alcohol really <clears throat> takes over. I mean, it's really good, but it's really strong. But it's balanced at the same time, and I'm getting that little, like a little bit of coffee on the back of the tongue now like the alcohol fades. So let's go through it. So straight away, get the toasted malts, dark raisins, burnt raisins, plums, sort of dark fruit. But then all of a sudden this alcohol sort of comes along and just wipes it all from your mouth. And then you get this hit of alcohol that washes around your mouth and then you swallow it and you've got like sort of caramelized sort of coffee taste at the back of the tongue that actually sits in the throat. It's nice, it's really, really nice. I'm gonna to struggle to drink it, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't even think I'll be driving after this one, Jesus. Um, it's, it's good. It's very, very strong. This is definitely something that, you know, if your mate comes over and you wanted something a little bit special, crack open this and both of you, you know, be interesting to compare notes and, you know, just have sort of like half each. I mean, we've still got probably a quarter of the bottle in it as well. So it's, it's a fair size bottle. Half a litre. <laughs> 0.5 litre. So, 
yeah, guys, if you see it about, give it a whirl because it, it is a nice balanced beer. Obviously, I've tried it now. I don't think I'll go and try it again. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things that they've experimented. They've, they've you know, aged it brilliantly and it's balanced perfectly. It's very, very strong. Guys, if you like this, please click like. Please click subscribe. Cheers.